Hey guys, this is Polo here, and uh, well, it is time for an unboxing. A very, very much anticipated unboxing because this is basically the premium standard deck set for Jewel Knights. And yes, um, according to uh, what's on here, uh, we have a few unboxings. We have a few. So, like, we have Jewel Knights, we have Revengers, we have um, Musketeers. So, this is Jewel Knights because I do have a V Jewel Knight deck, so it is what it is. And a couple of my friends are actually watching, watching the uh, boxing live. So I am really excited. So, okay, without further ado, let's go on to the unboxing. Um, so, cautious, I can't see in camera, but um, this is what I'm doing. So, uh, this is the box itself. You can just touch it, right? Just like these five tech sets. Uh, it is what it is. I mean, yep. So in the box, you get the box itself for, for the stationary box, and you've got the a deck box. Surprising enough. And your decks itself. So, yep. The whole idea for this premium deck set is just mainly because this is a you know an entry entry to premium. But the way I see it is more like a reprint set. Honestly, there's a lot of good reprints in here. So, uh, I would have to do. Oh, where did I keep my knife? Uh, I forgot where I put my knife. That's amazing. Uh, okay. So what? Oh, I got it. I got you guys. Yep. Got my knife here. And we're gonna open the box. So. The box really looks really neat, I'm not gonna lie, so... Yep. So... Right, it's it screwed on, yep, it's screwed on. Alright, there we go. Now we're gonna open this, this shrink wrap. Put that aside there. Alright. Alright, so a lot of good reprints. I am real happy this, this set was a thing, really. Even if I'm not really a very committed premium player. So we'll open this leaf, and... Yep, you can see the box. Pretty nice looking, I really like it. I mean, it's made. it's pretty neat. I'm not surprised, this is really neat. Alright, so we're gonna open the box itself. So we'll look what's inside. Uh, yep, there we go. So, yep, you get the storage box, you've got the deck box. Let's go to the deck box first. That's probably the one I'm probably interested in, in seeing. Uh, yeah, it's one of those, you know, Bushy Roll ones. My first ever Bushy Roll sleeve bug card deck case, mind you. So yeah, pretty neat, that's good. So yep, we, and of course, the, the main attraction itself is actually the deck. That is the reason why people are getting this set. And it's easier to open up compared to the start deck set, that's amazing. Okay, so, uh, these cardboards, there's, there's no use, oops, on the camera. Okay, so this is no use, we'll put that aside. Alright, then we'll look at the deck itself, hopefully you guys can see it. Okay, I'll zoom a little bit so you can see it. There we go. Yep, uh, not everything is foil. I was hoping this would be foil, but it is what it is. Alright, so we will open the package. Oh, hold on, open that. This is okay, this is okay, here we go. So we got it, and I'm gonna be careful not to damage any cards. So, yep, this is the main thing. What they freaking do? Alright, here we go. So, okay, so I hope you guys can see it. Okay, so. In the box, you've got the like the main deck of energy zone. So, for your uh main your your main uh, unit, it's Lin Jue Sao the limit break version. Uh, I forget what she does. Her skill is auto on Vanguard cycle limit break four. When this unit attacks, if you have four or more Jewel Knight rare cards, she gets two cannon crit. Her second skill is uh, act once act on Vanguard. Uh, you may combust especially combust two Jewel Knights. And then you switch the deck for a Jew Knight called the Regression of the Deck. So, uh, not amazing, but honestly, but you need you need this because you need, you're having a crest in the deck, which I'll show you later in a bit. So, you do get four commons. Especially your own common, which is not really my thing, but what to do. Uh, yeah, I'll just take that, put it here. In my pocket. Yeah, it's fine. Alright. And then here's our next reprint, which is uh, uh, Ashley, which is the V Ashley. Um,. Nice reprint actually, but uh, kind of what's that season in common? Okay, so uh, okay, sure. So yeah, her skill is auto on Vanguard Rear Circle. When this unit attacks for that, and then this unit attacked, you may so as to uh, so as to search a deck for a good tool as you call your Rear Circle deck. If it's on Vanguard Circle, you can call two units instead of one unit. So her second skill is when this unit is placed on top of her circle, we are on Vanguard, Vanguard Rear Guard, you can count us one. Uh, the unit talk as a crit, so you get two copies of it in the v in common. You also get uh, Ashley Reverse, which is again real. It's okay as a reprint set. 
I think this is good. It's really good, actually. It's the reprint. I'm not gonna complain. Okay. Uh, actually, your skill on V, v actually your skill rather is act on Magnus Go so that's to lock a rear guard. Uh, retire on opponent's front rear guards and then look at the top four cards of your deck for a Jew Knight called the rear guard and put the rest of the bottom of your deck. Second skill when this unit attacks, if you have two or more lock cards, come plus one. Uh, you may search up to two great twelve as Jew Knights called the rear guard for the deck. If you for every lock card you have, she gets a 10k, and if three or more lock cards, your opponent cannot call sentinels. So yeah, that's again it's a good reprint. So there we got two copies of her. Yeah, so right, and here is Yvain, which is a very interesting reprint. Damn, I was not really expecting this reprint honestly. I was thinking only just Swarmy reprint, but they have to include this in because if Swarmy wasn't there, if Swarmy not there, then what's the point? Yeah, so yeah, <laughs> yeah. Um, no one really needs it. But I mean, I mean, it is. It is what it is. I mean, nice and reprint, reprint is reprinted, but I don't think anyone needs this in 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 the in the premium. I will say, okay, his skill, Legion two thousand. Uh, you you Legion will sort me. Uh, that was really more of it. Um, second skill is when you do attacks. When you do attacks, uh, if Vanguard, if your unit is in in Legion state, you can if you have six or more. Junior units, this unit gets fucking crit. And second skill is when it attacks you, it's a Vanguard because it's 2k, so not necessary. I don't think any of these, but it's actually just reprinted there. Right? Alright, so, alright, next up we have uh, Lail, which is another good reprint for, for V. Uh, probably gonna sell a couple of easy Kaiser because he needs that for um, Altmal. So, Crow Skill, Auto Reversal, when you attacks, bot deck, ball deck 2, ball deck, bot deck 2 normal units. Uh, to the deck, so about so charge one. Uh, for this spell, she gets a plus five k. Second skill is when this unit is placed on top of her circle, on the rear circle. Uh, the top, you, the unit on top gets get plus ten k, and you get four copies in common. Again, I already have the foil version, but this, this is fine, good enough. Ah, this one, very good reprint. Uh, Sybil. Her skill, auto on Vanguard rear circle. When this unit attacks, uh, you may put a grade two or less into this uh, card in the soul. And then you draw a card. And. Before I forget, I'm just. <laughs> yep. Alright, so. Let's see, okay. Her second skill Auto and Vanguard Rigor Circle. Uh, auto and Vanguard Rigor Circle. If. Uh, if she's placed. If a student is placed on top of her circle, you can do the top three cards for you. Like. Uh, a great tool as Jew Knight. Call the Rigor and put the response in your deck. So, Sybil's really good for even like both V Premium. So. Like she's reprinted in the set. Ah, so let me this one. Very, very hot reprint. To, very, very hot reprint to find. A uh, very hard card to find, find back in the day, I mean. So, this one really useful premium. So, very, very simple skill. When this unit is based on a regard circle, you may especially combust one Jewel Knight, search for a great one or less Jewel Knight called the Regard deck. So, just fetches your, uh, fetches your, your Jewel Knight. Uh, you have three copies, which is, I think, essentially what you need, you need for uh, the set. And Morvidus, again, um, reprint as okay, I guess. I don't mean it costs much. It doesn't really cost much, actually, but I mean, reprint, reprint, reprint. I'm not gonna say anything there. Uh, Morvidus skill is, uh, yeah. Morvidus skill is that, uh, act on Rigor Circle Combat, so I'm returning you know, back to the bottom of the deck. Uh, Soul Charge 1 and choose one, of your, choose any of your Jew Knights. One, choose one of your Jew Knights and get the Fakey Shield, Fakey Power. Then, third second skill is when she plays on top of her circle, you draw a card. So, because she's a really good right target. So, you get four copies of her. Ah, another good one. Eunice. Very expensive card. Now, this was reprinted in the. These strike decks. I'm going to put this in Thing Saver. So, thank God this was in here. Okay, so. Yep, so. Eunice, her skill is. I believe it's Auto Reverse Circle. When this unit boosts. At the end of the this unit boosted, you may bot deck a normal unit from a drop. Uh, you so touch one. Then uh, you may put you may bounce this back to hand. Second skill is when this uh, when a student is placed on top of her circle, on the rear circle, you can um, choose your opponent's rear guard and uh, retire it. If you did not retire, you draw one. So again, four copies, pretty good. Ah, another good reprint, Christine. This is very good in premium. I believe her skill is when this student is placed on the rear circle. If you uh, okay, if you. I believe you have three or, three or less, three or more Jew Knight on, on the field, and you come out one, reveal a great tree from hand, 
uh, switch it for a Great Jewel Knight, call the Rearguard for the deck, and at the end of the turn, uh, put that call unit back to your hand, and then you discard one. So, I'm gonna still write this is three, three copies. This is Tiffany, that's your starter for Great Jewel Knight. I mean, I'm glad, I'm glad it's actually the, the, v, the v Tiffany. I probably don't want to swap it out, but yeah. But, oops, I can't see, sorry about that. Yeah, but. Yeah, it is what it is, so, yep, that is your starter, which I'll want to swap in my, my Jewel Knight's deck. Uh, yep, Old Carol T, eh, not the best, but I think it, it's the Considering vs. Unite, Unite Century, yeah, it has, it, has, it has to make sense. Alright, so, and you got the, uh, the, the GB1, put in Silver's Tank and draw one, uh, crits, that's pretty good, and you get the Strike, Strike Fighter crits, again, pretty good. Uh, three of the um, the draw PGs again, not too bad. Actually, it's pretty good. And of course, the heal guardians. Ah, this one <laughs> also quite good. And lo and behold, one of the ones that people are hunting for elementary sanctity too. Yeah. So yeah, I was talking to my clique about this, and they were really jealous about the fact that I got the premium deck set. So <laughs> yeah, my first only second two, mind you. So yeah, this is gonna go to my D deck. That is for sure. And another one. Yes, 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 it is harmonics. Oh my god. I've been wanting to get harmonics for, for, to play Imperium for a long time, and trust me, it is really hard to get. 50 bucks for a card, I'm not gonna pay that much. I mean, this is a common print. Is it any different? Yeah, it's a different foil. Okay. So, yep. Yeah. It is what it is. So, I'll go to harmonics skill. If you know what harmonics does, you can only play one of him in DG zone, so you can have four copies, you can have more than that. Second skill is that. When this unit is based on Vanguard Circle, uh, if you have lock cards, uh, okay, choose any amount of lock cards and unlock them. Uh, and you, for every card you unlock, you discard a card. So that's fine. So, kind of cultures, McLean deals, or like basically Link Joker in a way. Um, okay, so, third, second, third skill is on Vanguard or G Zone, when this unit is placed on G on Vanguard, or if it's on G Zone, I think, yeah. So, um, if your damage is 2 or less, and your opponent did not deal damage to you this turn, you may put 1 damage from, from a target deck, or put, put 1 deck, put 1 card from target deck into the damage zone and drop. So basically you deal yourself, not deal, you kind of deal damage yourself. Last skill, on G zone, when this, you, when, when, when you, when you write a grade 1 on a grade 0 for that turn, and you went 2nd, reveal this card from G zone, and you get a Guardian Shield. So... Get one copy of that. Ah, ha, ha. yes, this is so nice. <laughs> oh boy, this one. Of course, of course. So, yeah, I, 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 I am really happy. This thing was like, it looks really cool. This is TDR, okay. So this is Evangeline. Basically, this is the Air Rush Stride for uh, Jewel Knights. Yeah. So I'm really excited. I mean, I, I'm really happy to get this because, okay. It, the strike skill is very similar to the ones for history collection, where you need to you can still strike on green turn three, but this one's it's a little more shift in terms of like you know the Salome and the limit formula. So her first skill is act on G zone. If your vanguard has a limit break formula and it's, it's Junai Salome, uh, if you don't get a manager give this fight, you can basically discard cost as a tr sum of grace tree or higher, and then you strike this from your card face down and flip the first one flip a copy of her and you get two magic gifts, and the like it's just pretty much the same as the original one. So you flip a copy of I think her face, I think. Then um if you have a Jonah Heart, uh for I believe for every we don't know, actually regard guns. Yeah, so if you have three or more Jewel Knight rear guards, um and for every Evangeline on your G Zone face up, she they all get all the Jun Jun and Yukis 3K. Not really amazing, but it's Good because it's a spirit strike, I will say. And uh, your gears again, this was reprinted in from the uh, what was that called? Oh, uh, what was that? Uh, yeah, that was the the, the peak collection. There we go for now. So I really forgot how it does because I, I do not have it in a while. So, but I'll try my best to remember. So, when you see an attack, come out something like G's up, copy the G's up, card in G's face up. Uh, draw for every real card you have. And then uh, call the same number of cards you drew. Um, if you have five or more rear guards, you get the, you get a magic force. Every this way. And here is your GB8 unit, which is uh, Olbia's uh, Avalon. GB8, um, I'll make a rear circle. When this unit attacks, a Vanguard combats one. Uh, 
search okay Corona's one search your deck for uh five cards from the drop from the from the de de deck sorry shit I'm brain for it okay um call regard and for this turn uh all of them uh this in the form they get four of power and this you get to crit and then if you get you shuffle the deck so yes 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 so this is a, this is a really a much needed reprint, Crystal's Dragon. So guys, if you don't know what Crystal also does, this actually really is a very important reprint because you need this if you're playing Visa Lomi with this this, this deck. Um, this will come in handy, but I think one first enough just because there's a reason for that. I'm doing it for my build. Okay, so his skill, uh, put a G zone face, put a unique card, put a card in G zone face up. Uh, basically, you copy all your heart heart skills. And then her his second skill is continuous on my graphical GB3. Uh, when you have two or more grade three units uh, on a field, your opponent must call three or more cards at the same time. So basically, it's a finisher. You basically want to put on Visa Lome. Then you get like you can just afford eight drives in one turn, and then you get like up to six six attacks. Six attack, yeah, probably about six attacks. That's that's all I can say. So one copy, which is okay because I think I think it's just an entry point for premium. Same Twin Sword again, pretty good reprint. Uh free guess selling mine to Casey. So. <laughs> Ah, uh, yeah, I really regret saying that. Wait, okay. So his skill when this unit is when this is boosted, while being attacked, one second Vanguard because I want to put people G zone face up, um, people card in G face up, um, search your deck for two great two. It's called rigor. Two great two is called the rigor shift for deck. Second skill is uh. When the, when this when the unit is placed from deck rear deck to rear guard, uh, for every G zone face up for this turn, this unit gets a final power. So I mean, it's basically another finisher, really. And you have the uh, well, even if I'm not gonna go through my deck because I think everyone knows what this thing does. It's basically uh, you know, if you're damaged tonight, you can just use this to you know, do some stuff here and there. And yes, uh, your G guardians. Uh, I've not done my research, unfortunately. <laughs> So, uh, yeah, I, I just got into the game and I was pretty frustrated at today, really, but whatever. So, it, I believe this is the uh, G Guardian that's given in the P, P Clan collection. So, when this unit is based on Guardian Circle, uh, if you have a, if you have a, one or more G2, Grade 2 units on a field, this unit gets sent out Then, and also gets, when this unit, and it, th that unit gets to sing on a Stinky Shield, and when this unit is sent out of one, uh, choose one of the choose one units, and that can that hit that that unit can be hit for the battle. Yeah, so you got uh, a copy of that, and you got uh, Divine Maskell. We printed in the history collection, but uh, I don't I think many get more because it's really easy. Yeah, so I don't, I'm not really going to complain. Uh, GB one when this unit is based on Guard Circle, if you have if you have okay, if you have no fun rule because I think of. Before I can before not here, I'll put I'll create it later. So you flip a G Guardian in your G so face up, uh this you get Sanky Shield, so it's just fine. Uh you got laser guard dragon, um not really good, but I think it's just just a twenty K shield, nothing amazing really. Ah, this is pretty good. Uh and 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 Regius. Well, if you have two or more uh great two rear guards, this you get Sanky Shield, so pretty easy you can pull off. And like all star decks, it comes with a um it comes with a of a uh, common like a new common uh, gear is Colburn. So Colburn is a clear mental. What he does is when this when your vanguard when your opponent's vanguard attacks, uh, if this unit is on a guardian circle, you can discard a card, and then for, for every two cards in your opponent's hand, this unit gets five K shield. So that is uh, it. And that this is your uh, what's we call it? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Sorry, I can see it, guys. So okay, your quick shield. You got your guardian shield, which is pretty. Neat. Ah, uh, haha, ha, this is nice. <gasps> I did not know they're gonna put a business here. I, I'll be honest. <laughs> and yeah, I mean, the force marker, that's you get four of each, pretty neat. And of course, you get the crest, which is pretty important when you play Solomon in premium. So, her, the crest skill is pretty simple. Uh, uh, when If your heart has a limit break ability, and uh, if, you're, if it's Solomon, uh, when you strike Evangeline on top of her, uh, when you pay the cost, okay, you, you copy the skill of Salome, and then if you want to pay the cost for Salome's skill, it's essentially free. Second skill is, uh, all your limit break units will upgrade to you will 
the, the becomes 13 power K, so I mean, permanent 13 K. First skill is, uh, yeah, it's basically, the first is basically limited enabler, so basically you have drill, so you still limit yourself a lot. So, yeah, that is literally it for the deck pro, the deck pro I mean, the, the unboxing, I mean, a lot of good reprints, I would, I would say, because, look at this, it, enough to start our premium, pretty good. So, yep, that's all about it, guys, thank you guys for watching this unboxing, I hope you enjoyed it, I'm gonna start saving these up and try testing them out later, uh, do stay tuned for more, and, uh, I will see you guys in the next video, peace.